I've been really busy the past two weeks watching people get married, but I still had time to read. This overload. I told y'all last time about Philip Roth. I got this book because the cover looked really serious and it looked like something that like grown-ups read. It was depressing and well-written, like his usual stuff, but something in it really bothered me. The main character goes off to college and he's a very good boy. But then he starts dating a girl who gives him a blowjob on the first date. So he assumes there must be something wrong with her. Then a bunch of terrible crap happens to him and you know what? He deserved it. That's what you get for slut shaming. Then I got Saturday Night and Sunday Morning by Alan Silito. I bought this book because the guy on the cover is really hot. He reminds me of a guy that used to go to Appalachian State University with me. He was in my art class and his name was Will. And we were flirting a lot even though I had a boyfriend. And he bought me the box set of every single Misfits album ever made. Will, if you're watching this, I still have your Misfits CDs and I'm still kind of obsessed with you. This book was kind of entertaining, but totally sexist as well. Like, okay, fine, you were written in the 50s. That doesn't mean you have to act like it. My wife will have to look after any kids I fill her with. Keep the house spotless. And if she's good at that, I might let her go to the pictures now and again and take her out for a drink on Saturday. But if I thought she was carrying on behind my back, she'd be sent back to her mother with two black eyes before she knew it was happening. By God, she would. And then by God, I finished that book by throwing it in the trash. You know what I have to say to you? Alan Silito. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to say it. I'm going to dance it. I'll never stay. Oh, I don't tell you what to say, and I don't.